Hey, good morning. It's Thursday, uh, February 3rd. Today's reading will be Exodus 28 through 30. And uh, hey, got a couple things for you this morning. All right, let's hit it. So just like yesterday, uh, there, the meaning in this stuff, I think, is found in the details, which would take longer than the, you know, I, I don't want to make these videos longer than they need to be. And for us to dive in on some of the stuff would take quite a while. Just point out that it talks about first the ephod, the breastplate, the umum, and the thummim, uh, which I read around today trying to figure out a little bit more. I've done this before, and there's no really good indication what they are. It's mentioned seven times throughout the Old Testament. I've read some people think that they glowed, did glow, glown. I don't know the past participle of that would be. Uh, that they might have... A glowing property. Urim means lights. And you find that they were used in some sort of communication with God. Uh, some people even speculate there were something like dice. I don't know. Chapter 29, continuation of the consecration of the priests. You find that the reason for some of the sacrifices and offerings were to feed the priests and their families. Uh, that you're going to find later when they're, you know, there's certain offerings when they were supposed to take a flesh hook, reach down, grab it, and that was the portion for their family. And uh, so some of this stuff, you know, I always picture a dirty area covered with blood, just a mess. Uh, if it helps you, just uh, picture some very large barbecues. And then chapter 30, uh, some more uh, furniture for the tabernacle. And then as I was reading this, I was hoping, I forgot the, uh, you know, because there's some people out there that claim that the Bible calculates pi to 3 instead of 3.14. Uh, but then I did the search. I was excited to do that study with you. It's in First Kings, so we won't get there until probably summer, and I'll have to explain to you why the Bible is accurate in that spot, and it's kind of a fun Bible study to do. No, I'm not claiming that Pi is three and nor is the Bible. Have a great day and uh, looking forward again to tomorrow. Enjoy yourself.